السلام علیکم ایوری ون کیا حال ہے آپ لوگوں کا سر دا فیوری مارچ ٹوینٹی ٹوئنٹی تھری پیپر نو اٹ ہیزن بین ریموڈ چیک کر لو یو ول فائنڈ اٹ دیر اٹ از آئی میڈ اٹ پرائیویٹ بٹ اٹ اسٹل دیر دے ور ٹیکنگ ڈاؤن چینلس ود ٹوئنٹی ٹوئنٹی تھری ویڈیوز یس دیر ول بی آئی جی سی ایس سی ٹوئنٹی ٹو اسٹریم ان شاء اللہ ایٹ سکس تھرٹی Uh, I was your fan before, but now I'm an air conditioner. <laughs> funny, funny. Uh, yes, uh, latest of all hair lined up. Uh, I think you're talking about the winter 2022 question, huh? Yeah, that is lined up. Don't worry. So how's the preparation for P1? I hope it's on track. No, no, there aren't any changes from 2022 to 2023. The last change was in 2020. That's it. M1 streams, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Um, I have solved a yearly pass paper with my class. Maybe I'll upload the video of that. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll upload the video of that. No, no, we're not doing increasing, decreasing functions. We're doing transformation of functions. Notice what it says. It says transformation of functions. That's what we're doing. So now let's just start in two minutes. Okay. Uh, yes, Shayan, considering that there were no questions of volume generation, so it's not necessary that if it wasn't tested then, that it, w- that it will be tested now. Uh, but it's just a, <coughs> it's a good idea to prepare for it. You know, that's what I would suggest. And it's not that difficult. I've done a stream on it. I've solved a few questions. It's not that difficult. Okay, just remember the formula and that's good enough. Nothing else to worry about. Formula... سے سب ہو جائے گا ان شاء اللہ اوکے چلیں لیٹ اسٹارٹ سو ول گو اوور دا کانسیپٹ سے لٹل اوکے سو یو گیز ہیو دا اینڈ وٹ آل ڈو از ونس ہیو ڈن ود دا اسٹریم آل اپلوڈ دس پی ڈی ایف فائل ان دا ڈسکرپشن سو یو گیز کین ڈاؤن لوڈ اٹ فرام دیر اینڈ میک یوز آف اٹ ان شاء اللہ اوکے سو وی ناٹ گو گو اوور دا کانسیپٹ ان گریٹ ڈیٹیل از اٹس ناٹ نیسیسری ول جسٹ ڈو لائک اے سمری آف دا کانسیپٹ اینڈ دیٹس گڈ انف اوکے صرف سمری سے ان شاء اللہ آپ لوگوں کو سمجھ آ جائے گا سو ٹرانسفارمیشن آف فنکشنس اوکے ناؤ دیر آر اسینشلی تھری ٹو فور مین تھنگس ایچ یو نیڈ ٹو نو نمبر ون یو نیڈ ٹو بی ایبل ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی ٹرانسفارمیشن نمبر ٹو یو نیڈ ٹو بی ونس یو آئیڈینٹیفائڈ وٹ دا ٹرانسفارمیشن از یو نیڈ ٹو بی ایبل ٹو اپلائی ٹو دا گراف اینڈ اپٹین دا نیو گراف اوکے اینڈ then you have variations of it in some cases you will have the graph and you will have the transform graph and you need to, you need to be able to determine what transformation has been applied okay so sometimes you need to apply it yourself sometimes you need to determine what the transformation is okay so a couple of things that you need to know is what happens to the equation okay what happens in the function and also what happens to the point so what is the transformed 
function going to look like and what is the transformed point going to look like okay so i'm going to draw one table through which you can do pretty much every transformation there is okay now starting with reflection now this is something that you guys must remember from o levels as well that there are two types of reflection along the x axis and along the y axis so along x axis now what happens when you reflect a point along the x axis Okay, or more, uh, more importantly, how do you do that? That's what's more important. Okay, so if let's say you have y is equals to f of x and you're asked to reflect it along the x axis, what happens is this. So you have y which is equal to minus f of x. The entire function gets multiplied by minus. Okay, so this is basically the transformed function right here. Okay. This is the transformed function and this is the original function. As far as the point is concerned, if you have a point x comma y, what will it look like after it has been reflected along the x axis? It's going to look like x comma minus y. So it is the y coordinate, the sign of the y coordinate that changes the sign of the x coordinate remains the same. In the equation, what you do is you multiply the entire equation by minus if you wish to reflect it along the x axis. Okay. O levels, inshallah, I will start. Don't worry. O levels, I will start. Once IGCSE students are done with their exams, then I'll start O levels also. Achha, uh, those of you who are watching, if you guys could like the stream, that would mean a lot to me, as always. Okay, now reflection part B, which is along y axis. How do you reflect a point along y axis? Here's, what, here's how, how that is done. So if you have f of x, okay, what you do is the following. You do y equals to f of minus x. The x coordinate gets multiplied by minus. So this is the transformed function. And what is the transformed point going to look like? This is what the transformed point going to look like. x comma y, the original, the transformed point is going to look like minus x comma y. Okay, that's it. As far as reflection is concerned, that's it. Reflection is pretty easy. Okay, the only thing that's tricky is actually stretch. Stretch is the only tr tricky transformation. Okay, the rest are pretty easy. And stretch, maybe it's only stretch in the vertical direction or in the y direction that's tricky. In the x direction, it's pretty straightforward. So, part A, let's do y first. So, let's say you have to stretch in the y direction with scale factor k in the y direction or parallel to y axis. With scale factor equals to k. What is that going to look like? Let's have a look. So if you're asked to stretch a function parallel to the y axis or in the y direction with scale factor k, so this is what it's going to look like. You will have y is equals to f of x, okay? And after you stretch it, this is what it's going to look like. y equals to k times f of x, okay? So this is the transformed function. Okay, what about the point? What is the transform point going to look like? So originally, if it's x comma y, after you stretch it, this is what it's going to look like x comma ky okay then part b which is in the x direction uh, now remember in x everything's the opposite okay if you're let's say if you want to move it to the right you subtract something from it if you want to move it to the left you add something to it okay if let's say you want to multiply the coordinates by two then what you do it you divide x by two if let's say you want to multiply the coordinates or if let's say you want to divide the coordinates by two, then you do the opposite, okay? So in X, everything is the opposite. Just remember that. In the X direction, or you can say parallel to X axis with scale factor equals to one upon K. Now, if the scale factor is one upon k, notice what happens. This is interesting. You have y is equals to f of x, okay? 
and then the transformed function is going to look like this. The transformed function is going to look like y is equals to f of kx. Now notice when we've multiplied x by k, what's happened to the points is that all the points have been divided by k. Okay, that's what I meant when I said it's the exact opposite in the case of x. Okay. Now, so here's what's here's how we do this uh, f of x, and this is the transformed function. Now, what happens to the point? Let's see, x comma y. So this is what the transform point is going to look like. The transform point is going to look like this: x upon k comma y. Now notice, if in the equation you're multiplying x by a certain value, the point is actually getting divided by the exact same value. Okay, S will this video, yes, yes, this video will remain afterwards as well. Uh, sir, any quick advice for P1 as exam? Just go, just go over your notes, okay, go over the topics that you've struggled in. That's it. Is it better to do transformation in a form like a quadratic equation? So it's best to do it in completed square form. Okay, it's best to do it in completed square form. Amna, if you've been getting good marks consistently in topical past papers, then that's your, that's how you know you've done, that's how you know that your preparation is complete. Okay. So what if SF is K in the X direction? Okay, so if it's k in the x direction, that means in the equation you divide it by k. Okay, yes, yes, past papers be karanga, don't worry. Okay, we will do all the past paper questions there are. Don't worry about it. Okay, I've divided past paper questions uh, according to their difficulty. By the way, you guys can download the PDF. I think I have uploaded the PDF in the description. Here, if I haven't, I'll do it after the class. Okay, let me see. I think I have uploaded the PDF. If not, I'll put the link in the description, don't worry. Have SF. You can download the PDF from the description. Okay. I will suggest that you download it. Okay, now. What else is left? Translation. Let's have a look at translation the third transformation that we have, and that is translation. Yeah, okay. Now again, you have two translations, okay? You have horizontal and you have vertical, okay? Or in other words, you have translation in the X direction and in the Y direction. So let's start with horizontal. So if let's say you have to translate it horizontally, okay, and by A units, okay. So if the function is such that you have Y is equals to F of X, okay, we are changing order change, kare, pay close attention, okay. And if let's say the transformed function looks like this, X plus A, that means since we have added something, the matrix, the translation matrix, or you can say the translation vector is going to be like this, okay? It's going to be minus a comma zero. And what is the transform point going to look like? This is what the transform point going to look like. X comma y after translation is going to be X minus a comma y. So if you add something in the equation or in the function, that value is subtracted from the x coordinate. Okay, this we're talking about x only. Okay, we're not talking about y, we're talking about x. X may, as I said earlier, remember, everything is the opposite. Okay. Now, here's part b. If let's say that it's vertical translation, okay, and it is to be done by a units. So, here's how you will do that y is equals to f of x. Okay. So, the transformed function is going to look like this, y equals to f of x plus a. So this is your transformed function. Okay. And here also, this is your transformed function. Okay. 
एंड वाई के केस में इट्स प्रिटी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड इफ यू राइडिंग समथिंग ओके इट्स पॉजिटिव इफ यू सेप्रैक्टिंग समथिंग इट्स नेगेटिव सो दिस इज वॉट द ट्रांसलेशन मेट्रिक्स इज गोइंग टू लुक लाइक जीरो कॉम ए सो इफ यू हैव एक्स कॉम अ वाई द ट्रांसफॉर्म पॉइंट इज गोइंग टू लुक लाइक दिस एक्स कॉम वाई प्लस ए ठीक है ओके ना अब इसकी एक समरी कर लेते हैं येस दैट्स अ जीरो ओके जीरो इफ देर इज नथिंग इन द सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल द रीजन वाई देर जीरो इज बिकॉज द ओनली चेंज हैज कम is because of something being added in x so that's why y is zero and here the only change that has come is because something has been added in y that's why x is zero and you have a over here okay don't worry we'll figure it out relax sir is that zero sir yes these notes will be available don't worry okay now here's something which i want you guys to memorize by heart okay and if you memorize this by heart i can guarantee that you won't have to go anywhere else okay as far as the transformation of functions is concerned okay you won't have to refer to anything else basically that's what i mean so here's the function okay here i will write down the transformation okay and here we will write down the details of the transformation okay and here i will write down the transformed function okay and here i will write down the transformed point okay okay now so let's start with the function okay in fact let's make a table around it so let's say that you have f of x okay now this is just a summary okay this isn't anything new this is just a summary in fact i should mention it that this is just a summary you can sort of think of it as a cheat sheet ठीक है नाउ इफ लेट्स से यू हैव एफ ऑफ एक्स एंड द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट यू हैव टू अप्लाई टू इट इज रिफ्लेक्शन ओके एंड यू हैव टू डू द रिफ्लेक्शन अलोंग द एक्स एक्सिस ओके सो व्हाट इज द ट्रांसफॉर्म फंक्शन गोइंग टू लुक लाइक दिस इज व्हाट द ट्रांसफॉर्म फंक्शन गोइंग टू लुक लाइक ओके एंड व्हाट विल द पॉइंट लुक लाइक इफ द पॉइंट इज एक्स कॉमा वाई आफ्टर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन this is what it's going to look like it's going to be x comma minus y theek hai number 1 number 2 if it's f of x and again you have to apply if you have to reflect it but this time let's say you have to do it along the y axis so how will you do that f of minus x okay and what is the transformed point going to look like so originally if it's x comma y this is what it's going to be like minus x comma positive y theek hai okay now so that is for reflection all right then let's say you have the following you have stretch okay so you have stretch okay and this stretch is in the x direction okay and what's the scale factor the scale factor is 1 upon k so what is the transformed function going to look like the transformed function is going to look like this f of kx and what is the transformed point going to look like the transformed point is going to look like this x upon k comma y okay this is what the transformed point is going to look like then let's say again you have to stretch it okay but this time you have to do it in the y direction all right and what the scale factor is the scale factor is k okay so what is it going to look like let's see k f of x 
okay and what is the transform point going to look like from x comma y it's going to turn into x comma ky okay tomorrow is my gcs exam and i'm doing post papers in the search should i do more post papers and do something else uh, i think if tomorrow is your exam just relax okay just relax and uh, i will be streaming a difficult igcse paper at um, 6 30 pm right after the stream ends so maybe you can join that if you want okay okay now let's say you have the following you have translation okay and this translation is such that it's a comma zero okay and a is greater than zero all right a is already positive it's not greater than zero then what is the transform function going to look like the transform function is going to look like this f of x minus a okay and what will be the impact on the point what is the transform point going to look like it's going to be x plus a comma y so remember what i said if you're subtracting something from x what happens is that it gets added into the value of x okay on the graph and now lost if let's say you have again translation but this time it's 0 comma a where again a is greater than 0 so this is what it's going to be like f of x plus a now what is the impact on the point going to be x comma y will then become x comma y plus a okay now this is <coughs> sorry about that this is like your cheat sheet okay you can refer to this and pretty much apply it to all sorts of transformations okay you won't have to refer to anything else there you go Tika. i'll uh, upload this pdf after the stream ends you can download it from there okay now in these questions i've sort of marked the difficulty level okay you can see it from here that uh, the ones that are easy are marked in green the ones that are difficult are marked in yellow and uh, the ones that are hard are marked in red Tika. now <clears throat> let's do a few post paper questions okay we're going to start from the easier ones so let's do a few easier ones and then we'll gradually increase the difficulty level okay so here it is it says here describe fully the two in the correct order the two transformations that have been combined that have been described fully in the correct order the two transformations that have been combined okay so i'll let you guys do this question yourself okay and when you have the answer you can share it with me and then i'll do this question okay Translation three units up and reflection on the x-axis. Okay, reflection in the y-axis and transformation three zero. Okay, so we have multiple answers. So reflection in x-axis and translation zero comma three. Okay, so here's my simple suggestion. First of all, you write this equation nicely. Okay, so first of all, you rewrite it like this: y equals to minus f of x plus three. Okay. Now you have to do it in the correct order. If you write translation first and then you write reflection, say your trans the order of the translation will also change. Okay, so if let's say you say, if let's say this is the order in which you write it, translation. Okay, zero three is the first, and then let's say if you say that it's reflection. Okay, reflection along x-axis 
नाउ दिस इज रॉन्ग वाई इज दिस रॉन्ग मैं आपको अभी बताता हूँ रीजन वाई दिस इज रॉन्ग इज दिस सो इफ लेट से यू हैव एफ ऑफ एक्स ओके एंड लेट से यू अप्लाई द टू ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओवर हीयर सो वट यू एंड ऑफ डूइंग इज दिस वाई इक्वल्स टू एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस थ्री ओके आफ्टर यू ट्रांसलेटेड एंड देन इफ यू रिफ्लेक्टेड अलॉन्ग द एक्स एक्सेस हाउ विल यू डू दैट यू विल डू दैट बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग द इंटायर फंक्शन बाय माइनस सो वट यू एंड अप विथ यू एंड अप विद दिस वाई इक्वल्स टू माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स माइनस थ्री विच इज नॉट वट वी हैव वट वी हैव इज एक्चुअली माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस थ्री सो दिस ऑर्डर इज रॉन्ग द करेक्ट ऑर्डर वुड बी द फॉलोइंग द करेक्ट ऑर्डर वुड बी दैट यू फर्स्ट से दैट इट्स रिफ्लेक्शन अलॉन्ग द एक्स एक्सेस ओके रिफ्लेक्शन इन द एक्स एक्सेस दैट्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नंबर वन ओके एंड वाई इज दैट वाई इज इट रिफ्लेक्शन इन द एक्स एक्सेस बिकॉज इफ यू लुक एट द ट्रांसफॉर्म फंक्शन हेयर इज वट वी हैव वी हैव वाई इक्वल्स टू माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस थ्री नाउ वट इज दैट सजेस्ट माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स हमें क्या बता रहे हैं माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स हमें ये बता रहे हैं कि इट इज रिफ्लेक्शन अलॉन्ग द एक्स एक्सेस ओके देन वट यू डूइंग इज यूर एडिंग समथिंग ओके एंड यूर एडिंग समथिंग नॉट इन एक्स बट यूर एडिंग समथिंग एट द वेरी एंड ऑफ द फंक्शन दैट मीन्स यूर एडिंग समथिंग इन वाई सो नाउ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नंबर टू इज दैट इट्स ट्रांसलेशन इन द वाई डायरेक्शन लेकिन वाई डायरेक्शन लिखने की जरूरत नहीं है बस जीरो थ्री लिख दो दैट्स गुड इनफ बिकॉज ये जीरो थ्री इट सेल्फ इज सजेस्टिंग दैट इट्स डन इन द वाई डायरेक्शन एंड नॉट इन द एक्स डायरेक्शन एंड देर गो दैट्स इट दैट्स योर आंसर Okay, so most of you have given the correct answer, which is great. Okay, now please remember what is the correct order. Okay, and if you're ever confused about the order, order just do it yourself and see how it works. <laughs> Composite then of our okay, that's sad. Here, so let's do an easier. Let's do another easier question. Okay. इसको भी मैं इजी में कैटेगराइज करूंगा बाय द वे लेट्स सी पार्ट बी कैसा है पार्ट बी चलो देखते हैं पार्ट बी मे बी अ डिफिकल्ट वन पार्ट बी को इनफैक्ट मैं मीडियम लेवल कैटेगराइज करूंगा ओके ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पार्ट ए लेट्स सी व्हाट इट सेस This, by the way, is from May June twenty twenty two, paper thirteen. The curve with equation y equals two x square plus two x minus five is translated by minus one comma three. Okay. Now, what do we do? What do we do over here? So, if it's minus one, what does that mean? That means we're going to add something in x. Okay. So, y is equals to In place of x, we will now have x plus one, plus two, x plus one, okay, minus five, and then don't forget that there is a plus three as well. So that means this in the end we're going to add three. So this is something that will result your curve to translate horizontally. It's going to move one unit towards the right, okay, one unit towards the left, and because of this three, your graph will move three units up. ठीक है अगेन रिफर टू द टेबल इफ यू रिफर टू द टेबल यू कैन सी हियर दैट इफ लेट्स से ए इज पॉजिटिव ओके देन व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट यू सब्ट्रैक समथिंग फ्रॉम द फंक्शन सो दैट इफ इट्स इफ इट वाज द अदर वे राउंड इफ ए वाज नेगेटिव देन यू ऐड समथिंग इन द फंक्शन ओके नाउ लेट्स सिंपलीफाई दिस फॉरगॉट टू राइट डाउन द स्क्वायर So here's what we have. Y is equals to x square plus two x plus one. Okay, plus two x plus two minus five plus two x plus two minus five, and then in the end, don't forget that you have a plus three also. Okay. So let's see what do we get. So we get y is equals to x square plus two x plus two x is plus four x. One plus two is three. Three plus three is six. Six minus five is plus one. So there you go. Y equals to x square plus four x plus one is the final answer. Yeah, I forgot the squared. I've written that. Don't worry. Yes, it will be x plus one whole squared. गलती हो गई भाई. माफ कर दें. 
فور اینڈ غلطی پکڑ لیتے ہیں آپ لوگ خیر آئی اپریشیٹ دیٹ ویسے اوکے نا دس سیز دا کرو وتھ اکویشن وائی ایکولس ٹو ایکس اسکوائر پلس ٹو ایکس مائنس فائیو اس ٹرانسفارم ٹو دا کرو وائی ایکولس ٹو فور ایکس اسکوائر پلس فور ایکس مائنس فائیو اوکے نا فرسٹ آف آل یو مائٹ تھنک کہ وی ہیو ٹو مالٹی پلائی دی انٹائر اکویشن بائی فور اوکے سو نوٹس دیٹ یو ہیو ایکس اسکوائر اوور ہیئر اینڈ یو ہیو یو ہیو ایکس اسکوائر اوور ہیئر ایکچولی اینڈ یو ہیو فور ایکس اسکوائر اوور ہیئر سو یو مائٹ تھنک کہ ہاؤ بٹ آئی مالٹی پلائی دی انٹائر اکویشن بائی فور But that's actually not the correct way to transform it. And the reason behind that is because if that was the case, if let's say that the entire function was multiplied by 4, that would have resulted in all the values being multiplied by 4. But that's not the case over here. There is. Uh, is there? No, there isn't. So what does that mean? What am I going to do now? What do you suggest I do now? بیئرڈ کے تھوڑے ٹپس دے دیں ویل یہ خوش نصیب لوگوں کو ملتی ہے خیر آئی ایم جسٹ جوکنگ آئی تھنک مے بی یور ٹو یگ فار دیٹ وین یو گرو اولڈ دین انشاء اللہ stretch in the x direction by half complete the square mm. complete the square kar sakte hain if you want okay you can complete the square but what else yes waise abhi kisi ne jo jawab diya wo sahi diya basically notice what has happened over here so previously this is what you had right previously you had x square plus 2x minus 5 okay now notice that nothing happened to the minus 5 that's because the entire function hasn't been multiplied by anything what's happened to well, the change that we can observe is only in the terms that have x in them so that means it's only the change has only happened in x okay it's not happened in y it's only happened in x okay so how do we figure that out Now let's do a bit of trial and error. Okay, let's just put our heads together and see how it works. So notice that here we have 2, which all of a sudden has become what? Which all of a sudden has become 4. Okay, now this tells us something. This tells us that it's probably because x has been multiplied by 2. Okay, now how do you multiply x by 2? That means you simply replace x by 2x. So in place of x square, I'm going to replace, uh, in place of x, I'm going to write 2x. And here also in place of x, I will write 2x and here minus 5 as it is. Notice what happens as a result. What do we get? We get y equals to 4x square plus 4x minus 5. So technically what we have done is this. From f of x, we have turned this to f of 2x. We replaced x with 2x. What does that mean? If x has been replaced by 2x, let's go back to the table. and see what that means if f of x has been turned to f of 2x that means it is stretched in the x direction with scale factor 1 upon 2 so what is this equal to what is this representing this is representing stretch in the x direction scale factor 2 stretch in the x direction with So, uh, scale factor not 2, sorry, scale factor 1 upon 2. Okay, I'm sorry, I said 2. I meant scale factor 1 upon 2. Okay. Now, there is something to observe over here. Technically, this is enough for the final answer. Okay. But why do you think the examiner has given you so much space? Kis liye diya usne space? Zahir hai, koi kahani likhne ke liye to nahi diya usne aapko space. Ya, usne aapko space is liye diya. So, you do a bit of trial and error. Okay, you do a bit of trial and error. You multiply the entire equation by 2. Okay, if that's what you thought in the beginning, that maybe it's a vertical stretch or maybe it's a stretch in the y direction by scale factor 2. And then you'll realize that doesn't work. Then you try something else. You apply stretch in the x direction with scale factor half and then you'll realize that that works. Okay, and that is when you will come to the conclusion that this is basically stretch in the x direction with scale factor 1 upon 2. Okay, so there you go. Yes, I am from Karachi. <coughs> Sir, I have issues in some topics, functions, circle theorem. That's why I want to do topical. But if you have your exam tomorrow, then fine. Uh, 
So wait, that wasn't for me. That was for someone else. But for those of you who have their exam coming up, well, if your exam is tomorrow, IGCSE students, you guys should just be relaxing. Okay. Then if you if you're an AS student, you have your exam day after tomorrow. Then yes, you should be just winding up your preparation. Okay, winding up your preparation. So what if convert both equations to completing square form and simply compare to get transformations? Yeah, fine. Okay, so like I said, that's the reason why you're given so much space. Okay, that's the reason you, why you're given so much space is so, so you can do stuff like that. Okay, you can do it whatever way you find it the most comfortable, whatever way you're most comfortable with. Uh, AdMats, inshallah, will start from, okay, I have the calendar over here. Today is the first. AdMath, inshallah, will start from Friday, from the 5th, okay? All right, now, let's do another question. Okay, this is a little bit of question. We'll come back to it later. Let's do this one. So I'll give you guys some time to solve this. What to do if preparation is done already? Then prepare for the exam that you have the following day, the following week. Prepare for the next exam. Sir, can we be asked like about squeeze? Squeeze? Squeeze what? <laughs> Squ okay, uh, I think I know what you're talking about. Look, it's basically an informal term that we use. Like, you know how we say happy face, sad face? Okay, so that's just an informal term that we, we use to describe the transformation. Okay, you guys are going to attempt this question? Stretch in the x direction by half and translation 0 comma minus 3. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so first of all, this is a stretch in the x direction. Okay, and what's the scale factor? Scale factor will be one upon two. Okay, and number two, it's translation. And what will be the translation matrix? Zero comma minus three, that's it. Okay, let's have a look over here. The point P five comma six lies on the transformed curve. So, so I'll let you guys attempt this as well yourself. And then I'll solve it. Scale factor 2 na yoga, scale factor 1 upon 2 yoga. Remember, x me ulta hota hai. Okay, bas yaad rakhlo, x is ulta. Okay, x sari cheezen ulti karta hai. Agar usme add karoge, to left ko jayega, usme minus karoge, to right ko jayega. Usko multiply by 2 karoge, so all the coordinates will get divided by 2. Okay, if you divide it by 2, all the coordinates will get multiplied by 2. So just remember that. Sir, why do we, do we always write translation vector form? Yes, it's a good idea to write in vector form. Then you don't have to narrow down to horizontal and vertical. Okay, in this case, if you write translation first and then if you write stretch, it's fine. Okay, notice the question also hasn't mentioned the, that you have to give it in correct order because one is happening in Y and the other is happening in X. So that's fine. Even if you change the order, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Because if you stretch it in the x direction, nothing's going to happen to the y coordinates. And if you translate it vertically, nothing's going to happen to the x coordinates. Okay, so if you change it, if you change the order, it makes no difference. Can we write the graph shifts three units to the right? Okay, so first of all, it's not shifting three units to the right. It's uh, shifting three units down. Yes, I stream almost every day, well, almost every day. Yes, beta, I think I've answered that. Sorry, I'm gonna have to hide you now. The answer is 10 comma nine. All right, let me check. 
So basically, let me solve this as well. 10 comma 9 is the correct answer. Good job. So here's how we do it. Well, we start with the point x comma y. Okay. What happens when you apply the first transformation, which is that you stretch it, stretch in the x direction, stretch in the x direction with scale factor 1 upon 2. Okay. So what happens is this x comma 2 x upon 2 comma y and then if you translate it and then if you translate it with 0 minus 3 then this is what it becomes x upon 2 comma y minus 3 and this according to the question is equal to 5 comma 6 so that means x upon 2 equals to 5 and y minus 3 equals to 6. Now cross multiply x equals to 10 and y is equals to 9. So there you go. Previously uh, x equals to 10 sorry x equals to 10 and y equals to 9. So previously the coordinates of this point were 10 comma 9. So there you go. Now this is the way that I like to do it. I may be thinking ki kya main itni khwari kar Okay aise hi kar lene ulta kar lene isko times 2 kar lene isme plus 3 kar lene. Thik hai bilkul kar sakte hain. But this is the way that I like to do it. I like to see what's going on before I apply the transformation. Okay. Okay, now, so P5, 6 will go like in reverse. Yes, it will go in reverse. Okay. But like I said, this is the way that I like to do it. So I'm going to do it like this. Okay. Watching you from Qatar. Okay. Was this hard question? No, this was a medium question. You want to do a hard question? I don't think we're ready for that. Let's just do a few medium questions before we get to the hard question. Now, this question also you guys requested. Okay. So, yes, I do have a playlist for ASP1. I haven't covered all the topics, okay? Sir Zen has made a lot of content for ASP1. So, if you want, you can watch his video. In fact, you should watch his video. Okay, um, let me think of... Sir, let's do this. Let's do this. So this says, this is a question from May, June, 2020, paper 11. Okay, let's see what it says. Up to our trigonometry again. And by the way, I will classify this as, um, I will classify this as a difficult question. I mean, if you guys find it easy, that's great. Okay. But this is, in my opinion, okay. <coughs> I could be wrong. So this question says, the diagram shows the graph y equals to f of x, where f of x equals to 3 upon 2 cos 2x plus half. State the range of f. Now, because the graph is drawn, you can see that the maximum value is at x equals to 0. Okay. So it's ma at maximum when x is equal to 0. So just work out f of 0. So 3 upon 2 cos 2 into 0, which becomes 0 plus half. Okay. So th that gives you 3 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2, 2 upon 2, uh, 4 upon 2 actually, which is equal to 2. Okay. Now for the minimum value, you can see that the minimum value is in between zero and pi. So that means the minimum value is at pi upon two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work out f of pi upon two, which means three upon two, okay, cos two into pi upon two plus half. And while you're doing so, make sure that your calculator is in radian mode. When you work this out, you will realize that this is basically minus 1 and then you can write your answer nicely that f of x is greater than or equal to minus 1 lesser than or equal to 2. Take care. Easy does it. That's it. That's your answer. Okay. Then the next question which says a function g of x is such that g of x equals to f of x plus k where k is a positive constant. Okay. Let's underline that. k is a positive constant. The x-axis is a tangent to the curve y equals to g of x. Okay. State the value of k and hence describe the fully transformation that maps the curve y equals to f of x to y equals to g of x. Okay. So basically, in short, what we're doing is this. In short, we're taking this curve, we're adding something to it. Okay. And as a result, what happens is the curve becomes tangent to the x-axis. Okay. Now just give me a minute. Let me take this over here.
Okay. So notice that we are translating it vertically because we're adding something at the very end of the function. So this is vertical translation. Okay. And we're doing it in such a way that the x axis becomes tangent to the curve. Okay. So I'll let you guys figure this out. Yes, 0, 0,1 is the correct answer. 0, 0,1 is the correct answer. So basically, notice that the question has already made us find out the range and there's a very good reason behind that because now we know that the minimum value is minus one and we know that the maximum value is two. So the minimum value is minus one and the maximum value is two. Now, what should I add in this curve or how many units should I shift it vertically so that the graph becomes tangent to the x-axis. And that's pretty clear that I should shift it one unit up. So if I shift it one unit up, so this point goes over here and this is what the curve will now look like. Okay, so what should I, in short, what should I need, what should I add so that the curve becomes tangent to the x-axis? I should add one. So k equals to what? k equals to one, that's it. So it's at minus one, so plus one. Yep, that's correct. Plus one will make it tangent. So now, how do we describe the transformation? We say translation, okay? And we write down the matrix, which is zero comma one. And there you go, that's it. That's your answer. Okay. Now part C. Part C says, state the equation of a curve, which is reflection of y equals to f of x in the x-axis. Give your answer in the form y equals to a cos two x plus b Okay, so this is a no-brainer. Y equals to f of x in the x-axis. How do we get that? We get that by multiplying the entire equation by minus. Okay, if you ever forget, refer to the table. Reflection in the x-axis is done by multiplying the entire equation by minus. Okay. So let's do that. Let's multiply the entire equation by minus. Okay. So previously, this is what it looked like. Previously, it was y equals to 3 upon 2 cos 2x plus half. Now, if you multiply it by minus, this is what it becomes. y equals to minus 3 upon 2 cos 2x. Please don't end up multiplying the angle of cos by minus and minus 1 upon 2. So that's it. That's your answer. Easy peasy. So this part was easy. I think part A and part B were difficult. But if you guys find them easy, that's great. Okay, so let's do this question. These notes, inshallah, I will provide after the end of the stream. Okay, I'll upload them. You can download it from there. But you'll have to wait till the end of the stream so that you get everything that I've done. Okay. So here's question number three. Question three says, in each of parts A, B, and C, the graph shown with solid lines is equation so and so, y equals to f of x. The graph shown with broken lines is a transformation. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're observing the two graphs, okay, and we're deciding what transformation this is. So, so I'll let you guys answer this question. Take a good look at it. Tell me, what do you think is the deal here? Sixty five, yes, is enough given that you're consistently getting sixty five. Sixty five I think is pretty good actually. MashaAllah. Okay. Now as far as the transformation is concerned, okay, although we're not supposed to write that down, we're only supposed to write down the transformed equation. The transformation is reflection, okay, along y axis. Now, what happens when you reflect it along the y-axis? Reflection along y-axis, it's f of minus x, okay? So f of minus x, here it is. Let's write it down, f of minus x. That's it. Okay, now what about this? What do you think is going on over here? Okay. 
सर इज थर्टी एट टू फोर्टी फोर इनफ नो थर्टी एट तो इज ऑन द लोअर साइड शुड बी इन बिटवीन फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी फाइव टू बी ऑनस्ट वो इनफ है टू गेट एन ए बट अगेन दैट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द थ्रेश होल्ड ओके इफ द पेपर इज ईजी दैन नेचुरली द थ्रेश होल्ड वुड बी हायर ट्वाइस ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स ऑल राइट ऑल राइट लेट सी लेट सी सो नोटिस वॉट्स नॉट चेंजिंग और बेसिकली दी एक्स कॉर्डिनेट सो इफ यू पिक टू पॉइंट्स लेट्स पिक दीज टू Let's pick this and this. So, if you look at the original point, it's one comma two, okay. And then, if you look at the transformed point, it's basically one comma four, okay. So, what's going on over here? What's going on over here is that the y coordinate is getting multiplied by two, okay. So, if the y coordinate is getting multiplied by two, so that's what we have. Acha. Now, let's see if that's the case with all the other values as well okay let's pick this one and this point has been translated over here so previously this point was 2 comma 1 now it has become what now it has become 2 comma 2 okay now let's pick these two points so originally the point was 3 comma 3 now after some transformation it has become 3 comma 6 so this is what's going on all the y values are doubling Okay, now because all the y values are doubling, that means it's definitely a stretch. If let's say there was a fixed increase in all the y values, we would have said that this is a translation. But because it's they're all doubling, that's why what do we say? We say that this is a stretch in the y direction. Okay, we don't need to describe it. Okay, we just need to write down the equation in terms of f. So this is basically y is equals to f of two f of x. There you go. This is y is equals to two f of x. Okay. Now notice what's going on over here is this x comma y is becoming x comma two y. Okay. Or in other words, it's becoming x comma k y. Okay. So what is this? What is this representing? नहीं याद कोई बात नहीं. Let's go back. Here you go. This is something that will help you remember. X y becomes x comma k y when there is a stretch in the y direction with scale factor k. So there you go. This is what it's going to look like. Just replace k with what the scale factor is, and the scale factor is two. Okay. Now what about this? What about this? Fifty-five is enough for a B, but you shouldn't be aiming for a B. You should aim for an A. Any hack to learn that table? Um, no, any. There's no hack to learn that table. Sorry. No, it's not two f of x plus one because it's only getting multiplied by two, and that's it. There's nothing being added. If let's say if it was two f of x plus one, then this four would have been at five actually, and this. Two would have been at three, and this six would have been at seven. Okay. Okay, translation four comma three. All right, minus four minus three. Okay. Acha. So basically, you need to write down in terms of x, uh, in terms of f, the equation of the graph shown with broken lines. So, आपने इसकी लिखनी है, इसकी नहीं लिखनी, ठीक है? Okay. So let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four. So let's pick two points. Okay, I've picked this one and this one. So this point has gone four units to the left, and it has gone three units down. Okay. So going four units to the left basically means minus four, and going three units to the down, uh, going three units down basically means minus three. Now remember, x ke case mein hum kya karte hain? X ke case mein hum ulta karte hain. So if I want to shift the graph four units to the left, I will add four to it, and if I want to shift the graph three units down, so in the case of y, it's straightforward. I will subtract three from it. So there you go. Y is equals to f of x plus four minus three is your answer. Good job. 
Okay, so let's do a difficult question. Enough of easy questions, let's do a difficult question now. Let's do this one. This is from October, November 2020, paper 12. Oh yeah, you're right. I just hit 43,800. Yes. The hardest topic in P1. I think it's functions. It's functions, definitely. Okay, moves to up. We can't write this like this. Okay. We're gonna write it professionally. And are you sure it moves too up? You might wanna reconsider that, that it's moving to you and it's up because it's not. Stretch in the y direction by scale factor two followed by translation zero comma four. Okay. Okay, Jane, let's see. Let's see what is going on over here. So here is f of x. Okay. f of x is three cos two x plus two. Okay. And here is g of x, which is f of 2x plus 4. Let me write that again. Okay. So first of all, you can see that there is a stretch. Okay. Now what kind of a stretch? Stretch in the x direction. Okay. Why? Because x has been multiplied by 2. And if x has been multiplied by 2, what is the scale factor going to be? The scale factor is going to be 1 upon 2. Okay. And then there is something that you've added. What have we added? We've added four. So what does that mean? That means there's translation. Okay. And what would be, how would we describe the translation? Using this vector or matrix zero comma four. There you go. That's your answer. Okay, now there's part E. Part E says, describe fully a sequence of transformation which maps f of x onto h of x. Okay, Ab dekho, again, you're given so much space. All right, so make good use of it. Okay, this space is not the same as you can't write it. This space is not the same as so that you can use it. Okay, you do a bit of trial and error. Even though it's a two mark question. So the final answer you will notice is not going to take more than one line. Okay but do a bit of trial and error okay or if not trial and error then just rewrite what's given to you just so you can understand what exactly is going on so we need to write f of x to h of x okay so here's what's going on let's rewrite f of x which is equal to 3 cos 2x plus 2 then here is h of x which is equal to 2f of x plus 1.2 pi okay now, first of all, let's see that something has been added in x. If something is added in x, what does that mean? That means it's translation, okay? And because you're adding something, as you know, x works the other way around. That means the graph is going to move whatever it is that you're adding, that many units to the left. So it's translation with minus pi by two comma zero. And then because you're multiplying it by something, so we say stretch in the y direction stretch in the y direction or parallel to y axis with scale factor what scale factor 2 okay why but a simple sir okay it's some uh, jalam yaki guy kya apne usko multiply by 2 kar diya to it's a vertical stretch with scale factor 2 agar apne divide by 2 kar diya vertical stretch scale factor half x to ana x ulta kaam karta hai 
Yes, that's correct. Okay, so how about we do uh, another difficult question? This is a question that I wanted to solve with you guys. Yeah, this one. Yeah, chha sawal hai. Okay, so if there is a, if you have two different transformations, like for example, one is in X and the other is in Y, then you can change the order, it makes no difference. Okay, whatever order in which you do it, it's not gonna make any difference. Sir, in some questions, they ask for the correct order specifically. Okay, we'll do that question. Don't worry. Uh, I know what question you're talking about. We'll do that question also. Okay. Like, for example, in this question. Here it says, making clear the order in which the transformations are applied. Tika, don't worry. Can you give a five minute break? Why, Harriet? This is October. This is like, I think the most recent paper other than the February, March paper, October, November 22, paper 13. Yes. Okay, go ahead, solve this. Make, make sure to look at the table carefully, huh? These are one centimeter is representing two units over here. Maghreb? It's Maghreb already. What city are you in? Paper 11, 12 and 13 are basically different variants. Okay. Uh, because the paper all around the world is not conducted at the exact same time. That's why you have different variants so that the paper doesn't get leaked. For part A, since the stretch in Y axis, no effect on X coordinates from center to the edge and X axis, radial circle, which is two vertical distance. Yes, that is correct. Good job. So the answer to this question is three. Scale factor of the stretch is three, okay? So basically, here's what's happened. First of all, let's read the question. It says the diagram shows a curve which has a maximum point at eight comma 12. Okay, so here it is. And minimum point at eight comma zero. The curve is the result of applying a combination of two transformations to a circle. Combination of two transformations to a circle. The first transformation applied is a translation seven comma minus three. The second transformation applied is a stretch in the y direction. Okay, now, if you have to find out the scale factor of the stretch, you know that it's a stretch that is in the y direction, okay? Now, because it's a stretch in the y direction, that means nothing must have happened to the width of the circle, okay? Although if it's a circle, that means k, the width and the height obviously is the same, but the fact that it has been stretched in the y direction, that means ab jo circle ki height, na, kya ho gaya? Uh, that means ab jo circle ki height, na, wo change ho gaya ho gaya. Okay, now it's no more a circle. It's basically a curve with a different height and a different width, okay? Now, notice that Previously, the width is what? The width is, how many units? The width is, you can say, four units, okay? So this is four units, which means what? Which means that the radius is, must have been what? The radius must have been two. Okay, that means previously also, the radius must have been two, okay? So that means from the center, ye point bhi jo ga, wo two units away ho ga. 
but after the vertical stretch notice that this point has gone what this point has gone so far away okay how far let's see ye l units ho gaya theek hai and what is this distance this distance is basically equal to what this distance is basically equal to 6 now this l is now basically 3 times the radius theek hai because you have stretched it in the y direction okay that is why it has increased and you can see that this is 3 times the radius so if l is equals to 6 and the radius of the circle was previously equal to 2 that means it has been stretched in the y direction with scale factor what with scale factor 3 theek hai ye hua hai basically okay now the marking scheme the marking scheme you'll find it online okay but if you're talking about my solution that I'll upload once we're done part b state the radius of the original circle okay how do we write down the radius of the original circle we already know that okay it is through that we've been able to find out the answer to part a so radius of the original circle is what the radius of the original circle is 2 units it's a one mark question okay there's no working that's required okay then it says state the coordinates of the center of the circle after the translation has been completed but before the stretch is applied okay after the translation has been completed but before the stretch is applied acha ab ek kaam karte hain let's clean this up and i want you guys to again observe something that after both the transformations okay what do we have we have the center which is equal to what which is equal to 8 comma 6 okay or 86 doesn't matter how you write it okay now so here's what we're doing after vertical stretch after vertical stretch of with scale factor 3 with scale factor 3 it has become what it has become 8 comma 6 then what do you think would have been the deal before okay what must have happened before so before that it would have been like this before vertical stretch it would have been 8 and y would have been 8 divided by uh, 6 divided by 3 okay so what is that equal to that is equal to 8 2 and there you go so basically this 6 that we are getting okay this 6 that we are getting is after it has been multiplied by 3 okay now because it's a vertical stretch that means nothing would have happened to x so this 6 has come as a result of multiplying by 3 okay so what would have been the case before it got multiplied by 3 so before it got multiplied by 3 it would have been equal to what it would have been equal to 2 so there you go that's your answer how do you know it was a perfect circle it's mentioned in the question two transformations to a circle okay that's how i know it's a perfect circle uh sir can the midpoint formula be used to find out the radius because both coordinates 8 comma 0 and 8 comma 12 are provided yeah you can do that you can do that also but that will give you only the center coordinates which are 8 comma 6 okay okay i'll explain this again i'll explain this again part c i know it's a tricky question okay so i'll explain this again आ गया समझ वाह क्या बात है बट आई एक्सप्लेन इट अगेन एनी वे फॉर माई ओन सेटिस्फैक्शन सो बेसिकली हेयर्स द डील मेक श्योर यू गैज अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली ओके बिकॉज दैट्स द ट्रिकी पार्ट सो द डील इज दिस द क्वेश्चन से स्टेट द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल आफ्टर द ट्रांसलेशन हैज बिन कम्प्लीटेड बट बिफोर स्ट्रेच इज अप्लाइड ओके तो एक काम करते हैं after translation but before stretch okay using reverse order 86 goes to 8 comma 2 after removing stretch okay that part comes later that part 1 comma 5 ki job baat kare na you're right but that part comes later but let's do part c first okay so basically 
after stretch after stretch in y direction with scale factor 3 the coordinates of the center basically become 8 comma 6 okay now what that means is that previously you had a point so first of all understand this that because you're stretching it in the y direction the x would have remained the same so previously it would have been like this previously it would have been 8 comma y okay and then after stretching it it would have been 8 comma 3y and as a result 8 comma 3y would have become 8 comma 6 okay so notice that 8 is equals to 8 so x coordinate isn't going to change but since 3y is now equal to 2 that means y is equal to 2 so previously the coordinates are previously the coordinates were 8 comma 2 okay that's it ab isme tricky part ye hai ki aap ye understand kare ki nothing would have happened to the x coordinate the only change that will occur will occur to the y coordinate because you're stretching it vertically okay okay now part d let's go to part d Ab in part D, here's what's happening. We start the journey with x comma y, okay? Then we translate it. And how do we translate it? We translate it using seven and minus three. So using seven and minus three. So after you translate it using seven minus three, what will the coordinates become? The coordinates will become x plus seven comma y minus three, okay? And then when you stretch it, when you stretch it in the y direction, using scale factor 3 what will happen to the coordinates x plus 7 comma 2y minus 6 or you can uh, 2y minus 9 or you can write it like this you can write it as y minus 3 comma into 2 okay and then it's equal to what then it's equal to 8 comma 6 okay now let's do it step by step see what's going on so basically, here's what we have. Wait a minute, let me make sure I've written everything correctly. Eight comma, ha, theek hai, sahi hai. So basically, x plus seven equals to what? x plus seven equals to eight. x plus seven equals to eight. So this gives us the value of x, which is equal to one. And two y minus nine equals to what? Two y minus nine equals, sorry, two y minus six. 2y minus 6 equals to what? 2y minus 6 equals to 6, which means 2y equals to 12, which means y equals to what? Which means y equals to 6. So, is that it? Is that the answer? Why do I think that I've done something wrong over here? Let me check the answer just a minute. Oh, achha. you're right. Stretch factor is three. Uh oh, stretch factor three. Take three into y minus three. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. I see what I'm doing. So don't be surprised. Three y minus nine equals to six. Three y equals to 15. Y is equals to five. Okay. That's correct. One comma five. There you go. That's your answer. So again, take a good look at it. And yeah, there you go. Stretch factor is three, not two. You're right. Thank you for pointing that out. I have two se multiply kar diya tha.
सर लास्ट पार्ट में जो सर्कल के कॉर्डिनेट्स निकाले निकाल निकाले थे आपने ट्रांसलेशन क्यों नहीं अप्लाई की की तो है अप्लाई देखो ना सो वी स्टार्टेड द जर्नी विद एक्स वाई वैन यू ट्रांसलेट दीज पॉइंट्स बाय सेवन एंड माइनस थ्री दे बिकम एक्स प्लस सेवन एंड वाई माइनस थ्री ओके देन वैन यू स्ट्रेच इट इन द वाई डायरेक्शन विद स्केल फैक्टर थ्री एक्स प्लस सेवन रिमेंस एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई प्लस माइनस थ्री गेट्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री ओके now x plus and after all of that the coordinates of the center the transformed center are basically 8 comma 6 okay so x plus 7 equals to 8 and 3y minus 9 equals to 6 so x equals to 1 3y equals to 15 y equals to 5 that's what i've done ye sab dekh ke lag raha hai the okay that was in the idea okay so let's do this let's do another question let's see what this says This says the graph with equation y equals to f of x is transformed to the. So I'll, I'll let you. Yeah, so this is a graph question, so I'll do this. Maybe you guys can do part B. The graph with equation y equals to f of x is transformed. Okay, is transformed with the equation y equals to g of x by a stretch in the x direction with factor zero point five. Okay, with factor zero point five. So that means all the x coordinates. must have been divided by 2 okay all the x coordinates must have been divided by 2 okay and this by the way is also a very recent question it's from october november 2022 paper 12 okay okay now let's see how we can do this question on the diagram below acha then there is a translation also 0 comma 1 okay the diagram below shows the graph of y equals to f of x on the diagram sketch the graph of y equals to g of x okay so basically we need to apply two transformations one is that stretch in the x direction stretch in x direction with scale factor half okay so that means all the x coordinates will get divided by 2 so this point will remain where it was because it is 0 0 divided by 2 is 0 okay this point when you divide it by 2 will move over here okay because x is 1 it then becomes 0.5 this point over here when you divide it by 2 it's going to move over here okay this point which is currently 3 when you divide 3 by 2 it becomes 1.5 so that means this point is going to move over here okay acha phir what else this point which is at 4 comma 1 when you divide this by 2 this moves at 2 comma 1 so that means this point moves over here so all together this is what we are getting okay all together what we are getting is this so is that it is that the final answer or is there something else we need to do take a look at it and tell me if that's the final answer or is there something else that i need to do No no please do not pull an all nighter that's not at all recommended you need a fully working brain on the day of the exam for which it's important that you get a good night sleep okay get a good night sleep you eat light don't eat heavy food as an aapka sara energy jo hai wo khana hi hazm karne mein lag jaye so eat light eat healthy get good sleep yeah translation yes exactly So now what we need to do is we need to translate it. That's correct. Subhan, good job. So we need to translate it vertically, and we have to move every point one unit up. So this point moves one unit up. This point moves one unit up. This point moves one unit up. This point here moves one unit up. So the final answer is this. This is what your final answer is. So there you go. I'm going to raise this and clean this up, and that's it. Okay now find an expression in for g of x in terms of f of x so let's do that let's find an expression so notice that we translated it by scale factor half so how what is the transformed function going to look like x will get multiplied by 2 okay if the points are getting divided by 2 then the function gets multiplied by 2 okay and then you add a 1 to it at the end there you go and that's it 
that's that okay let me pick some other questions okay let's do this question let's do this question uh, in the in questions like these this is where the order is important okay so and notice that this is a five mark question okay so you have to be extremely careful this isn't child's play it's a five mark question because not only do you have to give the transformations that are being applied but you also have to give them in the correct order okay so here's my suggestion my suggestion is that first of all do whatever it is that you have to do so that you can see x separately okay completely separate from everything else at the moment you can see that the coefficient of x is half so what i'm going to do is i'm going to well do something to it because of which i can see x separately so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to let four sign be as it is okay and inside the bracket i'm going to take half common okay so if i take half common that means here we have x and if i take half common from 30 that means i'm dividing 30 by 60 or that i'm dividing 30 by 2 so dividing 30 by 2 basically means what basically means that it becomes 60 okay notice that when you multiply well, sorry not dividing 30 by 2 i meant dividing 30 by half okay so 30 divided by half is what 30 divided by half is 60 so half into x is half x half into minus 60 is what is minus 30 so that's what you get you go back to the original function so that means what we've done is correct okay so here we have y is equals to 4 sine half x minus 60 now this makes it easier okay this makes it easier to write down the transformation okay now in this case what we're going to do is in this case we're going to write down whatever it is that's inside the bracket first okay now because both of these transformations are such that both of them are being applied to x so you have to be careful with the order okay and always write down the bracket first whatever is inside the bracket we always write that down first so what do we have inside the bracket inside the bracket we have a translation okay and what is that translation that translation is 60 comma 0 okay then what do we have then we have a stretch in the x direction stretch in the x direction Achha, main aapko ek bata hon, jise aap simultaneously check bhi kar sakte whether you're doing it right or wrong okay so basically this is what we start with so originally it must have been what originally it must have been sine x okay without the four without the half x minus 30 it must have been sine x okay now when you apply this transformation over here what happens it becomes sine x minus 60 okay x has been replaced by what x has been replaced by x minus 60 and then when you stretch it in the x direction with scale factor one upon two okay uh, sorry not two when you stretch it in the x direction with scale factor two okay because x and so everything's going to be the opposite in that case what happens this is what it becomes sine x minus 60 gets further divided by half okay then when you do the final stretch which is in the y direction the final transformation which is a stretch in the y direction and why is that that's because of this four here this four here suggests that we are stretching it again but this time we're doing it parallel to the y-axis or in the y direction and what is the scale factor equal to the scale factor equals to four so what do we now have we have y equals to four sine half x minus 60 and what will happen if you expand half x minus 60 this is what you get you get y is equals to 4 sine half x minus 30 so do we go back to the original function yes we do what does that mean that means the transformations are correct and the order is also correct no it's not 30 degrees that's what we have done we have taken 60 common we have taken half common basically Yes, five marks for this. Interesting, huh? And this, by the way, is from May, June 2011. Paper, May, May June 2022, in fact, paper 11. There you go. Tricky, then, yeah? These are free marks. Okay, that's great.
So I'm good if you think they're free marks. Yes, let's do that tan graph for a question also. Here it is. Let's do this question. Acha, at 6.30, I have another live stream, okay? Okay, Chana, let's do this question here. So this question is from May, June 2021, paper 11. Question number four. Okay, let's see. So basically, this is a graph of tan, okay? And notice that nothing has been multiplied by x, okay? That's it, it's not 2x, it's not 3x, nothing has changed. Now the question says, given that b is in between zero and pi, so that means it has to be greater than zero or less than pi, state the value of the constants a, b, and c. Okay, now let's single out one complete cycle of tan. Okay, so if we start from here, This and this makes one complete cycle of tan. Okay, you can see that this makes one complete cycle of tan. Achha, how do I know that? Let's see. So if let's say I take this as my starting point, which is one upon four pi, I know that one cycle of tan completes in, takes pi radian to complete. One cycle takes pi radian to complete and why do how do i know that in this case also it will be pi radian because you can see x the coefficient of x is one okay it's only something that's been added or subtracted in the function it's been subtracted by the way okay because it's x minus b that means the period of this graph will not change okay the period of this graph will remain the same so if let's say it starts from one over four pi and we know that it takes pi radian to complete so what is pi plus one upon four pi it's five upon four pi, okay? So this is pi radian, which basically tells us that this is, what I'm highlighting, is basically one complete cycle of tan, okay? Now naturally, the graph of tan starts from where? Naturally, the graph of tan starts from zero, okay? It starts from zero, zero. But this graph starts is starting from someplace else, okay? So this graph right here, is not starting from zero. In fact, it's starting from, so this is what the graph of tan naturally looks like. Okay. This is pi and this is zero. And in between we have pi point two. Okay, this is what the graph of tan looks like. Now it's supposed to start from zero. Okay. But as a result, it's starting from one upon four pi radians to the right. And it's starting from two units, one unit up. Okay. So why do you think that is? Why is it that it's starting pi point four units to the right and it's starting from one unit up? Why is that? Bita, abhi result nahi aaya, to threshold kaise bata sakta hu main? अगर आप 2023 का थ्रेशोल्ड पूछ रहे हैं तो वो अभी तक आया नहीं है। C is one, yes, C is one, and also notice that the graph is starting from pi point four radians to the right. That is because something has been subtracted from x. What has been subtracted from x? b has been subtracted from x and it's because of b that the graph is starting one upon four pi radians towards the right that means b is pi upon four no it's not negative pi upon four it's positive pi upon four okay why because there's a minus sign over here already okay so there's a minus sign over here already which is telling us what which is telling us that the graph will shift rightwards rightwards horizontally Theoretically, you're right that b, b is basically minus pi upon four, okay? What we'll subtract is, or what will happen to tan x is that we will, from it, we'll subtract minus pi upon four, but we need to find out the value of b, so b is going to be positive pi upon four, okay? Now, what about the value of c? c is basically causing the graph to start from one unit up. Is It was supposed to start from zero, but now that it's starting from one unit up, that means c is equal to what? c is equals to positive one, okay? 
Now, the final equation looks like this. Y is equals to A tan of X minus pi upon 4 plus 1. This is what it looks like now. Okay. Now, we need to find out what? We need to find out the value of A. How do we find out the value of A? For the value of A, you can plug in any one point, one decent point through which you can clearly see that the curve is passing from, okay? Other than this point over here, because if you plug in this point, then pi upon four minus pi upon four will be zero. Tan zero is also zero. So we won't have A in our equation left anymore. So pick any other point. So I can take this point over here. This point has coordinate zero comma minus one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plug in zero in place of X and minus one in place of Y. So minus one equals to A tan of zero minus pi upon four plus one. Make sure that your calculator is in radian mode for this, okay? So minus one minus one is minus two. A tan of minus pi upon four. So let's figure that out. Subse pehle isko radian mode mein lete hain. Tan of minus pi divided by four. So that's equal to minus one. Minus two equals to minus a. So a is equals to what? A is equals to two. So a is equals to two. B is equals to one upon four pi. And c equals to what? c equals to one is your answer. There you go. This is from May, June, 2021, paper 11. Thank you. Okay, so now let's do one more question. And although there are a few questions pending over here, what time is it? Six or seven. So let's see how many questions, how many more questions we can solve. Okay, what about this? Jaldi says, so welcome to job, but that's a fairly easy question. Paper sake then pele, just go through your notes. That's what I would suggest. Okay, so there is no amplitude for the graph of tan. Okay. There is no amplitude for the graph of tan. That is because it has no maximum value. It has no minimum value. The maximum value is infinity. The minimum value is minus infinity. So that's why there's no such thing as amplitude of the graph of tan. Vertical stretch and what else? We can't leave it at that. Okay, factor of two, so yeah. Stretch in the y direction, stretch in the y direction with scale factor two. Okay, and then translation. And what's the vector of translation It's going to be, are you sure it's going to be minus one comma zero? Hmm? Or is it going to be one comma zero? It's going to be one comma zero. Remember X works in the opposite direction. Okay. All right, what about this? Quickly answer this as well. This is from May, June, 2021, paper 12, your variant. Minus sine 6x plus 15x. 
okay anyone else so basically it's reflected in the y axis so that means multiply x by minus 1 multiply x by minus 1 and it has been stretched by scale factor 1.3 that means and what's this stretch uh, in the x direction okay so you multiply x by 3 okay so here's what we get let's do it one by one so y is equals to sine 2 of minus x minus 5 into minus x so this is what it becomes this becomes y is equal to sine of minus 2x plus 5x and then you replace x by 3 so y is equals to sine of minus 2 into 3x plus 5 into 3x so what do we get we get sine of minus 6x plus 15x there you go okay and if you're thinking if you're thinking okay we can write the question doesn't say that you have to write it a certain way okay so you can leave it like this but if you're thinking i know what you guys are thinking you're thinking that we can use the identity and write it as minus sine 6x so you can write it like that also or y is equals to minus sine 6x plus 15x because the question doesn't say anything like that so you can write it like this also there you go okay let's do one question where we have to do completed square form uh, this is easy so let's do this question okay do this question this is from May June 2021 paper 13 the mic and the boom arm mic someone got it from UAE and uh, boom arm boom arm kisi ke paas pehle se rakha hua to i got it used basically but you can get it from a website hai where i get all the other gear from bnwcollections.com wahan se aap le sakte hain Okay, do we have the answers? Okay, so for the first part where it says by first expressing each of f of x and g of x in completed square form, 
express g of x in the form of f of x plus uh, p plus q where p and q are constants okay so subsequent to completed square form express karte so we have x square minus 2x we leave a bit of space and we write plus 5 this is uh, may june 2021 paper 13 abhi ha so you add one square which means you subtract the square of one as well this becomes x minus 1 the whole thing square plus 4 so that is f of x okay now let's talk about g of x so g of x we will do x square plus 4x again we leave a bit of space we write 13 So what do we add over here to complete the square? Two square, and what do we subtract? We subtract the exact same thing. So this becomes x plus two, the whole thing square, and this becomes thirteen minus four, which is equal to nine. And there you go. We have g of x, which is equal to x plus two, the whole thing square, plus nine. Okay. Now, up the question here is this. The question here is that you need to express g of x in the form of x f of x plus p plus q. Okay. अब इसके लिए सबसे पहले तो हम एक काम करते हैं दोनों को साइड बाई साइड लिखते हैं सो इट्स इजी फॉर अस टू कंपेयर एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल्स एक्स माइनस वन द होल थिंग स्क्वायर प्लस फोर ओके एंड जी ऑफ एक्स इज बेसिकली इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस टू द होल थिंग स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन ओके नाउ वी नीड टू टर्न एफ ऑफ एक्स इन टू जी ऑफ एक्स ओके दैट्स वॉट वी नीड टू डू ओके बिकॉज एंड दैट्स वॉट वीर सपोज टू राइट वी आर सपोज टू राइट g of x in terms of f of x okay so g of x in terms of f of x so notice that we have x common now if let's say we have this x minus 1 over here and we wish to bring it equal to x plus 2 so what's the difference over here the difference over here is of 3 so that means we need to add 3 to it so that's what we're going to do we're going to add 3 to it so here we have f of x plus 3 Okay, and then we have plus four over here, and we have plus five over here. So what are we going to do? We're going to add five to it. So we're going to add five to it. So that means plus five. And there you go. G of x in terms of f of x. This is what it looks like. F of x plus three, or f of x plus three, plus five, and that's it. Now write this down. Describe fully the transformations which. Transforms the graph y equals to g of x to the graph of y equals to y equals to f of x to the graph of y equals to g of x. IGCSE students, you guys will have your class at six thirty p.m. Don't worry. Yeah, this is pretty fairly easy. It's me plus minus ki garbar ho sakti honestly. That's what I can think of. Sir, I'm an O-level student. I have an exam on 19th. Can you please solve? You have your exam on 19th. But the first thing is, your exam is not on 19th. Your exam is on 9th. Okay. If you're talking about paper one of math, can you please solve 2015 winter paper one past paper? It will help me a lot. Okay, I will start doing past paper class. 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 Okay, I will I've solved two so far, May June 2022 and October November 2022. Okay, I will do more. Don't worry about it. Translation minus three comma five. Yep, that's correct. So if you're adding something to x, that means describe fully the transformation. So it means there's only one transformation. Okay, if you're adding something to x, that means it's going to move three units to the left, which basically means That we are subt <laughs> we are subtracting three, okay, and y के साथ तो it's pretty straightforward. It's going to be plus five, ठीक okay? है? So I hope I'm sorry अगर आप सोच रहे थे आपका exam nineteenth को है. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Part A, why is it x plus three and not x minus three? I'm confused. Okay, so basically, okay, I understand why you're confused. You're probably thinking के हम x में तो उल्टा करते हैं, ठीक है? So the thing is, we are transforming one equation to the other. So how do I transform this equation into this? What do I add? That's what we're looking for. Okay. Yes, we do the opposite in x. Okay. But that is when we are describing it. Okay. Or that is when we are applying it to the point. Now here, how do you go from x minus one to x plus two? You add three. 
okay so if let's say we were doing this to a point like for example over here if there was a point to which we had to apply this transformation x plus 3 and then plus 5 so that means x would move 3 units to the left and we would add 5 to y okay so abhi hum kya kar rahe? however here we're turning x minus 1 to x plus 2 that's why we're adding 3 notice what the question says the question says by first expressing each of f of x and g of x in completed square form express g of x in the form of f of x plus p bracket close plus q so we need to see what can be done to f of x to turn it into g of x okay we're not describing the transformation over here we're just turning f of x to g of x yeah that's it that is it so i don't know if i will be doing a stream tomorrow um in case i don't then it's goodbye but uh, i will encourage you guys to solve the remaining questions okay i'll upload this pdf just remember this table this table is the summary of everything that we have done and this table is all that you need in order to do transformation okay so best of luck to you take care or exams pehle, inshallah i will give you guys some tips and tricks although those won't be life-changing tips okay something that i've already there will just be a collection of stuff that i've already mentioned multiple times you know just take good care of your health wake up early sleep sleep early and uh, eat light eat healthy food and jab exams khatam ho jayen, then Ayashi can have look. I will be live shortly for IGCSE students, not for O level, IGCSE students. I mean, O level students can also watch, but uh, primarily it's for IGCSE students since they have their exam tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Take care, everyone. See you guys soon. Allah Fizz.